how to add a custom domain to ProtonMail. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can add a custom domain to ProtonMail. Now, to get started, the first thing we're going to do is head on over to ProtonMail to create our account. For this, we're going to click on create a free account and for our accounts to be able to connect to one custom domain, we do have to subscribe to a premium version. Now they have family plans. They also have plans for individuals and businesses, but we're going to go with one of their individual plans and this is going to be their mail plus plan for only $3.99 euros per month now in this you have 10 extra email addresses support for one custom domain email now if i go for monthly pricing it's going to be five pounds and but if i go for a 12 month plan it's going to be four pounds but i'm going to go with one month only and click on get mail plus once i click on get mail plus i am going to proceed with my proton mail user username which is going to be lily davis at proton mail and it's better to have at least 12 characters uppercase and lowercase numbers we're just going to proceed with a suitable password like this and then click on create account okay username is already used I'm going to change this to the Lily Davis and then I'm just going to click on create account. Now after that we're going to have to proceed with our billing so I'm just going to add my billing information and I'll get back to you guys in a second. So now our subscription has been completed and we can proceed on to our next step in our account creation on a Proton Mail. Now right now it is creating our account. In the meanwhile, we can go on to an any domain name provider wherever you want to purchase your custom domain from. Now I have the custom domain lilydavis.site and I want to use this on Proton Mail to build my own email accounts with this particular domain. Now we can add a recovery method. I'm going to skip this for now, but I do recommend you guys should add your recovery methods because it's really important to have any type of verification for your account. So let's get started and we're just going to click on next and we are going to turn some of these features off. Now, once we've done that, we can see on the left, we have starred, archive, all mailed, and we have folders and labels. And in this, on the top right, we can click on mail, calendar, drive, VPN, passwords, and wallets. Now, this is going to be your basic Proton email. And then on the top right, you can actually see you have account settings, you have add account, if you have multiple accounts that you are using. But we want to connect our custom domain or a custom email address to our Proton Mail account. And for that, we're just going to head on over into our dashboard. So in our dashboard, what we're going to do is we're going to go into settings on our top right. And once we click on settings on our top right, we're going to click on all settings on the top right. So once you click on all settings, this is going to be your account dashboard. And on the left, you will also see Proton Mail. Now, if you scroll down into Proton Mail and you take a look at one of the last options, it's called domain names. So you're going to click on domain names and then you're going to click on add domain to set up your own custom domain. And first off, we're going to add our domain name, which is lilydavis.site and we're going to click on next. Once you do that, you have to add the TXT record in your DNS record. Now, keep in mind your DNS records can take several hours to update as well. So don't worry if it does not connect instantaneously. You just have to follow the steps. Just copy this value, go into your domain name provider, click on manage DNS or DNS settings, wherever it says that, just click on that. This will lead you to your DNS settings. In your DNS records, you're going to click on add new record and you're going to go into your Proton account and in your Proton account, whatever values you see, so it's a TXT type and the host name should be at the rate of. I'm going to go into GoDaddy, choose TXT, then add at the rate of, then I'm going to paste in the character and then just click on save. Once I click on save, it is updating my DNS records and I'm just going to wait for my DNS records to be added. Once I do that, I'm gonna click on next and 
we're just going to click on next sometimes you guys can see it says verification not succeed please try again in an hour now even if it does say that you do not need to worry as long as you can see the dns record has been added so if i scroll down you guys can see that i have added the dns record it means that in like 10 minutes or five minutes usually it doesn't take 48 hours to update records it's going to take you somewhere around 15 minutes to see any changes. Even when it's slow, it takes 15 minutes. Usually it's going to take you like five minutes to see the changes. And then after that, you have to add your addresses, MX, SPF, DKM, and DMARC, which are just basic copy and paste values to copy and paste onto your domain name provider. It doesn't matter whichever domain name provider you have. You guys can see it says stellaDavis.site. Just ensure you've typed everything correctly onto both of the platforms. We're just going to wait. And in our DNS record, we're just going to have to wait for this to be completed. Now, after your DNS record is added, you guys can see it's going to uh, ask you to not delete it. If you ever delete your DNS record, that can be an issue in verification. So that is why it's really important to ensure that the record you're adding, you don't delete it. Just because it's not verified within like a minute, within two minutes, you do not want to delete your records. You want your records to stay there so they can be detected and they, they can be, you know, added as your DNS addresses. Now you can click on refresh status just to refresh your status. Sometimes this might take longer. Sometimes it might, you know, be very quick. And then after that, just follow the step-by-step -step guide that the domain name provider and your Proton mail account will give you. It's a pretty simple procedure. You do need to add A and C name records. Again, you can do that by clicking on add record and you add your new C name records as well. Keep in mind, you can click on verify uh, domain ownership, go on to Proton Mail, click on next, add this value, put this txt record, click on verify, and this becomes really, you guys can see this record name A conflicts with another record because I've already added the other one. I can delete that. Once I delete that, I can go back, click on verify ownership, add the newer version, and then I can just wait for the DNS records to be updated. And after that, I can click on next. You guys can see on my domain name providers and it has been verified, but over here, it's going to take slightly longer. So that is how you can proceed with custom domain names on ProtonMail. It's not easy at all and anyone with a premium account can do it. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.